Another big change in Windows 7 is the use of a component known as a library. And Microsoft really as assumes, and I think rightly so, that this is going to change the way in which we view Windows Explorer. Uh, my Documents folder. The concept of a library is that it's essentially a virtual uh, location. It's a location that can include multiple locations. Seems a little bit odd. I think it makes a little bit more sense when we just look at it. Okay, on your start menu in Windows 7, when you click on Documents, you're not actually opening up the My Documents folder. You're opening up the Documents library. Same thing as if you click on Music or Pictures, you're opening up that specific library. Okay, and and this is uh, this is a a big change. Now you you still do, by the way, have those individual locations. I mean, I can go down here and navigate into my folder and get to my my pictures. Uh, but the preference is that we use the library. So what is a library? Well, you see, the library includes two physical locations. It includes my my documents folder. Uh, and or it, it includes my documents, I should say, and it includes public documents. I also have the ability to add additional locations. It's going to be the default save location. If I open up uh, something in in uh, in Internet Explorer and I go to save that, uh, then by default it's going to want to save into uh, into the documents library. Of course, the website's taking a minute there. So anyway, um, but the point would be. Uh, I can save it into the documents library, and what this was telling me was when I save it into the documents library, it's actually going to go into that folder by default. You can change which folder uh, is the default. Notice I can expand and see the individual folders beneath, or I can just go and select the, the library itself, and I will see uh, everything that's stored there. We create a, a new item just so we can see it in the public documents because I want to show that it, it's arranged by folder. It's arranged by folder but notice that I don't actually see any indication as to where these are at. Okay, I just have a list of documents. This document alone is in the public documents. These documents are in the My Documents folder. But when I select the Documents Library, I see all of them together. Okay, and the reason that that is key is because this could eventually include additional locations that are on not even the same hard drive. It doesn't even have to be on the same computer. They could include network locations in your home group, you know, for the documents folders from your laptop and your desktop, you know, and so this has the potential of just being huge. The ability to uh, save to this virtual location to click on one documents folder and having have it show you multiple folders throughout your computer system and other computer systems. It just greatly simplifies things. You know, I don't have to, I can just save it to my documents library. It's going in a specific folder uh, by default, but I, I can also just go to one location to view all of these as opposed to bouncing around in different, different uh, places. You know, personally, I save information in a lot of different places. I've also got computers in some cases that have a couple of disks in them, you know, and, or removable drives. And so I like, I like this ability to have this one virtual location, double click on it, and it opens up and I can get data from a lot of different places. Another key is that libraries are indexed, which means that you can search them very quickly. It's the same thing as an index in the back of the book. It helps the computer to identify and locate information much quicker. What you see here is that you have a search bar in Windows Explorer, and you've got a uh, an index. Okay, so we'll we'll just do something like Windows, uh, and it will immediately search the index of this document library where the information is uh, where the information is actually stored. Okay. Something like that. We type enhance and I can see and I'm getting information as to where that is. Now these are some of the search capabilities, but the point is is that the libraries are already automatically indexed for you and give you access. Now of course, 
As with everything else, libraries can be fully customized, and we will look at how to modify these to make them the most useful. But at this point, I just wanted to introduce them to you. Okay, libraries are virtual locations that can include multiple physical locations, and the idea is that it makes it easier to collect and find the data that we need uh, when we have to work with it.